deadly tarantula girl coming to you from my private serpentarium. I'm still recovering from the flu, so please forgive me for my scratchy voice. Tonight I'm bringing you something totally different. This is Scolopendra castaniceps packing. You guys have seen this big beautiful centipede. It was sold to a researcher in Maine who's doing venom studies. Coming to you, David. And I'm going to be packing this centipede up and getting it shipped out to him. A couple of people asked about centipede packing. That's what I'm going to be showing you tonight. Let's get started. Since this is a large centipede, I'm going to use a half gallon container. And I'm going to take quite a bit of sphagnum moss and soak it. The number one risk to this centipede is drying out during shipping. I want to soak this moss and totally saturate it and then I will sponge it out after it's totally soaked up the water. So this will take a little while. Step two, I'm just wringing out the excess moisture. I don't want to drown the centipede during shipping and I'm just going to gently pack it until he has a nice big cushion all around the container. Now that I have my container uh, loosely packed with damp moss, I'm going to go ahead and wrangle this peed into the container. That's the funnest part of all. So I'm going to try to sweet talk this guy. I am using an overflow container because centipede bites are some of my least favorite bites and although I do free handle them when necessary, this is not one of those times. Hopefully. We shall see. I could use the lid. All right, buddy boy. There we go. And away he goes. So obviously you want to make sure that your container has holes, but not too much ventilation because you don't want this guy to dry out. And there he is, nice and happy and ready to be shipped. Now the next step is to build a box, which I do in another video that I will link below and send this baby on his way. So this was Scolopendro Castaniceps Packing. Hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you soon.